All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these Ferrero Golden Gallery signature chocolates. All right, um, normal price thirteen ninety nine. This was three dollars off, so basically eleven dollars. Let's go ahead and take a closer look here. Fine assorted chocolates: The Art of Chocolate by Ferrero. Ten recipes, uh, forty two premium specialties. Net weight, 15.4 ounces, 438 grams. Oh no, if there's that many types, I guess I'm going to be eating a lot of chocolates today. Um, here you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 different types? How many are in a box? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Coffee, maest maest maestria, fine dark chocolate with chocolate and coffee filling. Caramel. Leonardo fine milk chocolate with rich caramel filling. I'll probably like that one a lot. Bianca Reddy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this right. Fine white chocolate with almonds. I'll probably like that one a lot. Milk Capola. Fine milk chocolate with a creamy milky filling. I'll probably be alright. Um, Gian Dujot. I don't know. Ferrero. Fine milk chocolate with hazelnuts. That's probably going to be pretty close to a Ferrero Rocher. Um, without the little crunchy bits. <clears throat> dark Opera, fine dark chocolate with hazelnuts and cocoa filling. Usually I don't like dark chocolate, but we'll see. Fine milk chocolate, oh, chocolate Sonetto, fine milk chocolate with hazelnut and almonds. Caramel Intenso, dark, fine dark chocolate with salted caramel filling. Dark Capola, fine dark chocolate with a creamy milky filling. White Opera, fine white chocolate with hazelnuts and cocoa filling. I'll probably like that one. All right, here you can see. Ferrero presents a modern signature in premium chocolate. Ferrero Golden Gallery signature. Delight in the surprising variety of finely crafted chocolates with unique flavor combinations for a taste experience worth sharing. The Art of Chocolate by Ferrero. I don't know how they do the nutrition facts because every single chocolate is different in the ingredients so anyways let's go ahead and take a look well let's do the ingredients first in case you're allergic to anything i mean it tells you what the stuff mostly is but sugar cocoa butter cocoa mass i don't know if that's cocoa or cocoa i don't know i just say cocoa all right cocoa mass vegetable fats which include palm palm kernel and shea nut all right hazelnuts milk powder skim milk powder um what oh skim milk powder Salted butter, which is cream and salt. Then there's cocoa, glucose syrup, sweet and condensed milk, which is milk and sugar. Then there's dextrose, heavy cream, almonds, butter oil, lecithin as an emulsifier, uh, ground cocoa beans, inert, uh, invert cane sugar syrup, cornstarch, caramelized sugar syrup, pasteurized milk, ground sweetened hazelnuts, which is sugar and ground hazelnuts. Then there's freeze-dried coffee, natural and artificial flavors, Rice flour, corn flour, in, uh, invertase as a stabilizer, salt, ammonium bicarbonate as a leavening agent. I don't know why they don't put an and at the end, but anyways. Contains milk, tree nuts, hazelnuts, um, which are hazelnuts and almonds, and soy. So if you're allergic to any of those, just be careful. Also may contain wheat, eggs, and other tree nuts like walnut, Brazil nuts, uh, pecans, pistachios and coconuts all right then they got their facebook their phone number website facebook and instagram upc codes there here you can see the nutrition facts all right 14 servings uh which is three pralines so what's that 10 20 30 42 all right so since there's 10 different flavors that means hopefully there's four of each at least anyways um, here you can see total fat, 11 grams, 14%, saturated fat, 7 grams, 32%. Um, <clears throat> oh shoot, that means I'm going to be eating nearly 600 calories here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 510 calories, okay. Anyways, um, yeah, 11 grams fat, 14%, saturated fat, oh, I'm going to go like 100% almost. Actually, probably 100%. <laughs> um, 7 grams saturated fat, 32%. Cholesterol, less than 5 milligrams, 1%. Sodium, 25 milligrams, 1%. 
carbs, 16 grams, 6%, fiber, 1 gram, 4%, sugars, 14 grams, which includes 12 grams of added sugar, 24%, 2 grams of protein. Then we got a little calcium, 41 milligrams, 4%, iron, 0.6 milligrams, 4%, and 100 milligrams of potassium, which is 2%. All right. Excuse me. Extru exclusive distributor, Ferrero USA in Parsippany, New Jersey. Made in the UK. Please store in a cool, dry place at a temperature of 65 to 72. I think my house is too cold right now. So, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, to open this, you probably need like a knife or something. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think you can open this. I mean, if, if you use your fingernails or something and pick at it, I think, yeah, I can peel this out. Okay, so you can peel this out. It's just a little bit of pain then hopefully we can just open this over to the side i don't know get in there and pull this did they put stickers on all four sides they put stickers on all four sides okay so we're gonna be you're gonna be watching a video of me peeling three of the four stickers and then we're gonna lift it off the lid okay so there we go we got the third one out and I'm probably dropping all the chocolates now, but, uh, okay, there we go, we got those three, peel that up, and then get that in, all right, so now let's go ahead and open this up, flip it back, okay, they sealed it inside, so they put this stuff, uh, with, like, bubble wrappy foamy kind of thing, just like how they do at like C's chocolate candy boxes all right we got all the chocolates here you can see how many of each so we got uh five coffee ones we got five of these we got four of these five of these five of those four of those four of those and what else <laughs> we got four of those okay and i don't know what this booklet is for Okay, so this has the, I guess, the same information that's on the outside. Tells you the types of chocolates here. So I'm just going to quickly show this. All right. So you can kind of just see what's included in here. I don't know why they felt the need to show this on both. I guess because the other thing is on the bottom of the box. So once you open it, it's hard to get to. Like, this thing, is it glued in? <laughs> Okay, so they glued this tray into the bottom of this box, so I guess I'll leave it in there. Okay, so how am I going to get to try one of each? I have to, like, open the entire thing. Okay, so this packaging, the way it opens, they actually have a little, uh, I guess you peel it up like this, okay? So this is, I guess all the chocolates are just going to get, I don't know. All right, okay, it's sealed. I guess they sealed the whole thing down here as well. So I guess we'll open it like this all the way until the third row. So that way we have access to one of each of those. And then we'll just have to open one to get access to this. Okay. So um, I guess I'll just eat one of each and then we'll see. I, probably sh I should probably turn on the flash here. Maybe that will help a little. And maybe I should raise the camera a tiny bit because this box is kind of big. All right, so which one is this? Salted thing? <laughs> I don't know. See, if I look at this, none of them look like it, but the closest one I'm going to say is the chocolate Sonetto. All right. So let's go ahead and take a bite because this has like powder stuff on it, but you can see it looks nothing like that. Hmm. Okay. Really tiny bits of the nuts in there. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Next one, this should be the caramel one. That actually looks accurate. Oh, did I just get a fingerprint on there? That actually looks accurate, so let's bite into this and take a look. Hmm. 
pretty good. Honestly, I was expecting like a whole bunch of filled with caramel, but this is pretty good. All right. Next one. Hmm. It's sweet and has some crunchy bits in there. Kind of like salt or toffee bits. The texture. I don't know. That's pretty good. All right. Then we got this one. You can see what's inside. Hmm. This is just a solid chocolate. <laughs> it says solid hazelnut cream. But, um... Oh, I see. So this is like a solid piece. There's no filling inside. It's just all hazelnut cream. It's pretty good. Okay, next we'll try this. Milk Capola. Looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, let's eat this. Mm-hmm. Also very good. Very tasty. So far, this is my favorite. Okay. Next, we're going to eat this. Which... I'm guessing it's that one. Yep. Dark Opera. Let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The flavors are all mixing together. It's like... They're, they're somewhat similar, but at the same time, different. I like the texture of the little bits on these. But uh, everyone has different tastes. But yeah, I like the little texture it adds. Hmm. Okay, let's try... I guess let's open this side so we can have access to the coffee ones. I only need one. Okay. I probably should have eaten the one that fell over. But too late now. Okay, so we got the coffee one here. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> That's a pretty strong coffee flavor. I'm not much of a coffee fan. <clears throat> but if you like coffee, you'll love this. Alright, it's pretty strong. And when I say you mean lo you love coffee, I mean you actually like coffee. Not that sugar cream, like, caramel syrupy stuff. <laughs> All right. I mean, I like that sugar caramel cream coffee stuff too. But um, this is like coffee coffee. Okay. All right. Then we got this. Caramel Intenso. Let's give this a try. Mm-hmm. The caramel, if you're wondering, goes very, like, goopy, but not, like, super stringy, like the Ghirardelli ones. All right. It's 
kind of like the texture of like a jam or jelly. No, jam. Okay. Pretty good. All right. Wait, there's two left? Okay, we tried that one. Tried that one. We tried, I'm guessing that one. We tried this one. Tried that one. Tried that square. Tried the coffee one. Let's go ahead and try the white chocolate one. I think we're missing a flavor in here. They're showing an extra flavor back here. Dark Capola or is that on here? Wait. One, two, there's only those Capolas. Where's the, there's the milk Capola. Where's this? I don't see that one. All right, anyways, we got this one. And let's give it a try. White Opera. Okay. Hmm. Has those rice crispy bits that I put that they put in the Ferro Rocher balls. Mm hmm Pretty good. I like this one. They should make Ferro Rocher's, um, but with the white chocolate. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see... Okay, I think I ate this milk cupola already. So the only one left... Wait, wait, wait. What? Milk Coppola. Oh, I'm dumb. That's the dark Coppola. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, this is the dark one. I don't know why they made the color of the stripes like the same as the chocolate here. Because on this, look at the difference. Okay. This is the dark chocolate one. Sorry, I got confused. I thought I ate one for some reason because I was looking at this row. All right, let's bite this open. Mm -hmm. I'm not one for dark chocolate. This one, because the dark chocolate's on the outside, it plays a much bigger role. But it's not a super strong dark chocolate. So... Not too bad. Mm hmm And the last one. I'm going to have to play more pickleball. I'm eating too much junk food here. Bianco ready? Bianco ready? I don't know <laughs> if that's how you pronounce it. Anyways. Let's bite this open. Oh, wow. I love the smell of this. Hmm. Has nice little crispy bits in there. Can't really see it. But definitely taste them. Hmm. Yeah. I think this is my favorite. I don't know what amaretto is, but I like it. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much it for now. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you decide if you want to give these a try. There's a lot more flavors than I was expecting here. That was a lot of chocolate I had to go through to taste test. Um, I'm not complaining taste-wise, but... I'm going to have to do some exercise to work this off. All right. Anyways, <clears throat> that's it for now. Thanks for watching. 
hopefully you guys enjoy these. Again, this is my favorite. I like white chocolate, so the order, just put the dark chocolate last. Well, actually, because I don't like plain coffee that much, I would put that last. But if you like coffee, that's a good one. <clears throat> dark chocolate ones probably last the caramel helps balance out the dark chocolates pretty good but um yeah it's hard to rate all these they're all they're all pretty good even the last one um it's still good anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye